Hi, my name is Tate Smith. I'm interviewing Susan Keller for my art history project. I've got a few questions here. What do you see as a role of visual arts in society today, particularly in your profession? I think as we become a more global society, we rely a lot more on visual imagery because it transcends the boundaries that exist due to language and cultural differences. So I think that's an important thing. But as the entertainment industry as a whole, and the concert industry in particular, we rely a lot more on visual effects now than we have in the past. We used to be limited to lighting and scenic elements to enhance the performance, but with the advent of LED and media server technology, we can now incorporate video and graphic images into everything we do. Curtains can be used to project images, scenery can change in an in instant, and any surface can be a blank canvas when using projection mapping software. The next question would be, um, new communications and media technologies make imagery almost instantly available. Do you believe that this has a positive or negative influence on your field slash industry? <laughs> Please provide an example. It's funny you should ask this because the other day we were talking about um, lighting designers these days. It used to be we would see how it looked visually for us, the live audience. And then when they started producing DVDs, we were worried about the DVD audience. Nowadays, I know some lighting designers are actually worried about what does my design look like through an iPhone because of the instantaneous nature of everyone goes to a concert and everybody is YouTubing it as they're watching or they're you know, streaming it to their Facebook or whatever. So lighting designers, I've heard, he actually looks at his lighting design through his iPhone camera to see if it looks good. So it is changing our industry a little bit. It makes the job a little bit more challenging to make a show that looks great live look good on an iPhone. But I think it's mostly a positive influence, mainly because footage shot during an event can be instantly brought to an audience, bring them into an experience in a way that wasn't possible in the past. What popular images do you see frequently repeated throughout your industry? I can't think of any. That's not something, I don't think there's a lot of popular images that we use over and over again because in our industry, creativity, you tend to not want to do what everyone else is doing. You tend to look for different imagery. I think designers are constantly trying to create new content, especially with the media servers out there these days and all the different ways we can project and pixel map, LED screens and water screens and all these things that we can use as projection that I don't think everyone wants to see the same content. I mean, you can tell when someone's using the stock content off the hippo because everybody knows the stock content off the hippo. You expose an audience to the same images again and again and all of a sudden it doesn't become separate experiences and separate shows. It becomes one big conglomerate mess, so... I think we're not repeating a lot. Who is one of your favorite visual artists and or what is your favorite style of visual art? My favorite style of art is still photography. Black and white industrial images, I love. You take pictures of rusty steel beams with shadows and highlights and you know fallen trees and broken wagon wheels and you do it in black and white and all that stark contrast. To me that is just like... It's amazing because you're not focusing on the color, you're focusing on the texture, you're focusing on the on the contrast and the shadows, and you're seeing things in those images that you normally wouldn't see. And to me, that is just like taking mundane, everyday, industrial, broken, useless items and showing them in this light and the beauty of it. And it's just, to me, that's, that's what I like to see in art. That's my favorite type of visual art. Last question. Has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process and how? As a lighting designer, I'm often called upon to recreate worlds that I did not experience. So I have to be able to find imagery that I can show to a director or an artist and say, this is the feeling I'm going for. This is the quality of light I'm going to put up on that stage. And there are artists out there that have a real knowledge of light and really give me an inspiration on creating a certain look because they're taking a different medium to artificially create a realistic source. I paint with light, really, so it's not that much different. And I would say some of my favorite artists, Michelangelo Caravaggio, for when the period in which he was painting, that his artwork is photorealistic. It's amazing how great his use of light is. Vermeer, um, very different quality of light, where Caravaggio used a very harsh light and a lot of um, sharp lines and shadows. Vermeer's light is always very soft. And it's usually coming from a window, and it's usually coming from the left, and it's very domestic light. It's it's very, you know, he shows a lot of very homey scenes. So his light, to me, just reminds me of that nice warm afternoon at home and, you know, that feeling of being enveloped by family and everything. Well, thank you, Susan. My name is Tate Smith, and this has been my Art in the Industry interview with Susan Keller.